Is it, I know it's RPI, it's a rivalry. Is there any concern this week with not being a league in? The guys not usually come get to put off the points coming off the last weekend's performance? I hope not. You know, it's a fact of, you know, this is, you know, we, at this stage in the game, we need all the, the wins we can possibly get. And it's one of our goals. Um, it's for a cup. So, you know, you should be playing with the same amount of pride that you would for any other game this year. RPI's been struggling lately. If you if you put yourself in their skates, Mayor's Cup, rivalry, all that other stuff, I mean, they just need a win right now. With that in mind, you expect, expect to see a hungry team out of them. Yeah, I'm just basically just finished up, you know, both their games here from this past weekend, and that looks like a pretty, you know, darn good team to me. Uh, I, you know, they played hard, and, you know, they had a tough second period against Yale, but, I mean, other than that, I mean, that's a team that competes very hard, and we're going to have our hands full. Rick, I know the answer to this is pretty obvious, and it's a no, but um, in some ways, is this one more important than the two league contests that you play against them, being that there's a trophy on the line and being that it's later on in the season. No, I think the league, you know, the league, those league points are, are worth their weight in gold. And, you know, we take those seriously. Now, I mean, the Mayor's Cup is a, you know, it's been a, you know, a tradition here uh, for a while now. So it's a big game in its own right. But, you know, if I was asked, I mean, I'll take the league points, but, you know, by, by no means am I going to shortchange the Mayor's Cup because, you know, again, it's for, it's for a trophy and bragging rights. And, you know what, we, we'd rather have it here than over there. <coughs> you talked to the freshman row about just the different environment that you're going to see given, you know, big crowds for both sides rather than being a you know, regional uh, Fair question, Sean. If I have to talk to the freshman going into game 28, we, we have bigger problems than me talking to the freshman. So, and the venues that we've been in this past season, uh, hopefully those games that we've played in other venues, in hostile environments, hopefully helps them for this game. Speaking of freshmen, can you comment on how Darian played last week and also uh, Liam Morgan got his first goal of the season? Uh, good to see him get a little reward for his kind of great play. Yeah, I think I'll, I mean, I'll try to answer your question first. I thought Darian played really well uh, this past weekend. Uh, I think, he, as I said before, he'd want the first one back. And he, he, he did what a goaltender, you know, a good goalie will do. If you let in a tough one, to come back and have a strong performance after that. And that's exactly what he did. I thought the guys gave him a lot of help this past weekend, too, especially in the Brown game. Um, you know, broke it down, and there was only six scoring chances against. You know, it was probably our best game, you know, defensively. So... You know, the guys really rallied around that, especially on the second night and, and trying to get the back-to-back -back wins. So, And then with uh, Liam, that was a great, if you're going to have your first goal, it might as well be a game-winning game, game -winning goal on the road, and that's exactly was a pack of Wolves goal. Um, and you know what, I, I give him a lot of credit. He was there, and he battled, and he put it in. So huge goal for us. Rick, what's the difference between this year's RPI team, despite the fact that they're struggling? You said they play hard. What's the difference about the way that they play this year as opposed to the way that they played the last few years? <sighs> Gotta be careful with that one. Um, you know, it's it's not a knock against the past. It's the fact of, you know, it just seemed a little more structured within the systems, uh, a little less chaotic. Um, and you know what? And sometimes chaotic can work for you. And they, they proved that in the past. It just seems a little bit more structured within the systems this year than in the past. And I know you spoke with us about that at the press conference, but uh, can you just go over again your your relationship with Dave and how you knew him when you guys were both uh, in your playing days? Yeah, I mean, I we just had a mutual friend and uh, a gentleman named Rob Kenny that we we both had played with. Rob has since passed on now, but uh, we kind of got to know each other through that. But on on the ice, you know, from what I remember, Dave was just a you know, he could really play the game hard, uh, and he didn't back down at all. And, you know, he was a pretty chippy player out there, and he, he did his job. He did his job well. And, you know, I just remembered a couple times just going by the bench and, and hearing a few words. And I'm not going to actually say it was him, but it's, it certainly looked like it was coming from that angle. But uh, I give him a lot of credit. He was a, He was a very, very good hockey player.
Do you see his team taking on him in his image? <coughs> what you've seen on the tape with his approach to the game? In some ways I do. In some ways I would probably say would if they took I guess his game, it would have been more of the past. What I've saw you know, seen in the past, more with uh, Seth teams. So it's kind of it's kind of ironic that it's not like that. So, you know, that's a another fair question. But you played two very close games against them back way back in October, but guess um, from watching film from this past weekend, how have they grown this season? Well, I just, you know, better within their structure. I thought I thought their goaltender played really well, um, you know, in that Brown game, and you know, going going through the Yale game, you know, it's she's solid. He's, she's she's playing. I think if you're going to ask me, it'd be the goaltending has really picked up. Uh, you know, they have some big bigger defensemen that make it tough on you. So we got to fight fight through that, and they got some dangerous forwards. Uh, number twelve there, I can't. I don't want to butcher his name, but I think he's a darn good hockey player. Uh, Little grin or little grin, and, and we got a sweet too. So um, you know, he's I think he's an excellent hockey player. And you know, they got a couple guys, Terry East and Hayhurst, that can play in anybody's top top six. So and we just got to be we, we've got to be aware. Takes back to last weekend a little bit. Been very productive for you guys. Um, uh, and Darian played very well as well. Can just kind of walk us through. Uh, what you guys got them this weekend. Yeah, um, those are huge ECAC points for us on the road. And then obviously this time of year, other than the Mayor's Cup, it's just about all ECAC games for the rest of the way. So they're all big points with uh, playoff implications. So that was really big for us. And obviously it's awesome for uh, Darian. He has for a shutout and played excellent for us this weekend. How much of that was the D as well? Because I think you guys needed them to 20 shots and goals. And like Coach said, they were only six good scoring teams. Yeah, D did a great job. Um, things we work on during practice, so it's really encouraging to see things uh, fall through into the games. It's a good time of year to get kind of the break from the, the two games on a weekend, and you guys can just focus on Saturday's game. Uh, yeah, a little more practice this week, I guess, and then, yeah, just one game to focus on, which is different, but uh, hopefully we can make the most of that one game this weekend. It's a big one for us. Speaking of which, last year I think you had the game winner in overtime. Can you just walk us through that play and, and how big it was to beat RPI? Yeah, um, I think it was early on. Somebody, it was like 33 seconds. Yeah, I think Brett made a good play down low, and Brownie and I went to the net. It just hit something and ended up trickling in. Uh, sort of a mess in front, and we were lucky enough to have it uh, bounce in for us. So that was really fun. It's always a really fun game. You have a lot of pressure in this year. It's a different sort of game, which was like. Is there any Q&A going on with the young guys to finish what it's going to be like as far as atmosphere goes? Uh, not too, too much so far since we haven't really, we were sort of just getting over this weekend. So now we're just sort of starting to focus on RPI and the Mayor's Cup game, which, I mean, I know all the older guys are really excited for. It's always really fun. and Yeah, I guess it's different, but uh, nothing too, too much so far. I know everybody's excited, though. Obviously, Cole, they're your rivals, but what makes this one different? Uh, and maybe that's it's kind of an easy question, but what makes it different than the two uh, conference games that you play against them? Um, just being at the Times Union Center, uh, there's always a pretty good turnout just right across the highway there, so it's really exciting. And then obviously we played them twice this year, and the older guys know everybody pretty well now. You play them three times a year, so I think you just you know guys on both sides, so it's it's always a little more fun. What were some of the impressions you got of RPI the first two times you guys played them? I mean, you beat them twice, but they scored pretty close both. Yeah, close games and close games last year as well. Uh, they're always tough to play against. They're going to come out hard, so you can't take anything for granted against those guys. It's definitely not going to be easy. Is there any trash talking or jawboning going on during these games when you play RPI? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but I guess that kind of goes on every night. So it's just like I don't say it's like any other game, but once you drop the puck, the neutral side thing that just all go away and you're just playing hockey. Yeah, I don't think you notice it too too much. I mean. It's, it's people from around here at the game, so it's similar people probably at Mesa or over there where they play, so it's similar faces. How well is Ryan Scarfo playing right now? And it sounded like you guys, I mean, it sounded like you guys got some football pack goals, type goals that you guys like to strive for last weekend. Yeah, uh, he's been playing awesome, and it's, it's great to see he's been around the net. He's been able to hammer him home, and obviously he can shoot the puck as well. So it, when he's going, it definitely it makes a huge difference for us. Observations on your first Mayor's Cup game? Did you talk to your brother at all about it or, or anybody? And what are your thoughts? 
Uh, I actually haven't talked to him about it at all, but um, <clears throat> you know, obviously, it's pretty big, pretty big game for for both schools. Um, you know, you hear a lot about it coming into coming into the year, so definitely, definitely excited about it, and uh, yeah, definitely. Is it fun to have another school that's so close that you actually can have some sort of real rivalry? I mean, most most schools don't have that. I mean, obviously, BC and BU, but um, I mean, it's just kind of fun and cool to, to have a close rivalry. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I've never really experienced anything like it. Um, you know, come from Alberta, playing in Brooks, there was not really any cl close teams, uh, so nothing really like this. But it's definitely cool. Um, it'll be cool to have a you know a midpoint where we can meet and you know have a lot of fans from both sides come in, and you know I'm sure the energy is going to be great in there. It's going to be really loud, so it's definitely exciting. It's really cool. We haven't talked to you since before the preseason. Um, at this point in the year, halfway through your first year, what are some of your impressions of college hockey, and how do you feel like you've adjusted to it? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a lot faster, and um, I'd say the biggest thing for me I, I've noticed is like the guys are a lot bigger. Um, you know, harder to harder to win puck battles and stuff like that. Um, you know, I think I had a tough time at the start of the year, but I think recently, um, you know, getting adjusted to it, I've. Uh, I've started to feel a lot better, feel a lot more confident coming out, out of the Christmas break. So um, I think that, you know, I had a tough time early, but I'm starting to feel better and feel more confident now. Before we start on RPI, it takes back to last weekend, how cool would it to get a shutout? But in the meantime, you guys limited them to 20 shots, and Rick said there's only like six good scoring chances. Mm -hmm. So how much did the beat contribute? Uh, yeah, no, it's cool to get that shutout, get that first one out of the way, but uh, like Coach said, we really smothered him, didn't really give him any too good good of chances, and uh, so I just, you know, had to do my job and kind of sit around and watch, so the boys did great that, uh, all weekend, really, yeah, so. Thoughts on Saturday, and Coach says you're going to be in the school for the next little week. Where are you at right now? How bad do you want to? Uh, really bad. I want to be on the ice every game, uh, but obviously uh, I hear that the Mariners Cup is a big deal. I haven't been a part of it yet, but uh, I've heard some good stories, so I'm um, just going to work hard this week, and uh, we'll see what happens. What kind of stories have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> no, it's just, it's, obviously the RPI union rivalry is huge, and um, they always play us tight, and they're always very highly attended, high-energy games. And um, uh, obviously, I saw the big one. Of the, I think it was the 2014 year. <laughs> that one got a little scrappy at the end. But um, so yeah, just to be able to be a part of that, I'm really excited. How did things change? Uh, I guess going into a rivalry game, you turn to not just a regular conference game. There's more on the line here. Um, Preparation-wise, not much. Um, we come here and, you know, we work hard every day, and uh, you don't want to change anything too much just because uh, um, you don't want to treat any game different than another. Um, but it's it's nevertheless, it's, like I said, there is a little bit more of excitement in the locker room, um, being able to play at that, at the Times Union, right? Mm -hmm. um, just being able to play at that building, it's, you know, something to look forward to during the week. So. Uh, 